Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can use a gimbal at a wedding. So this video is not about the kind of moves that you can do with a gimbal. It's more of a when to use it at a wedding and how it's more of a when how it's more of a when slash how to use it at a wedding. So yeah, so so without further ado, uh, let's get started on how you can use this at a wedding and when to use it at a wedding. So let's go. I usually use um, this Zion Crane gimbal during when the bride is walking down the aisle. So when the bride is walking down the aisle is when you can use the gimbal. So. The reason why you want to use the gimbal is because you want to perform some tracking shots while the bride is walking down the aisle. It's okay, you can just put the tripod, um, you can put the trap, you can put the camera on the tripod and forget moving. You can just put it on the tripod and capture the bride, walk down the aisle, and then um, you know, you can capture her from different angles. And uh I talk about how you can shoot a wedding ceremony in a separate video. And uh, that's like, you know, if you're shooting by yourself and I talk about the triangle formula. So when you're shooting the, the when you're using this for the ceremony, it can kind of um, mess up the triangle formula. But it depends. I'm going to show you. I'm going to tell you and kind of show you how I use it. So that way uh, you can kind of understand. So uh, here's a video first. Watch this video if you haven't yet watched it. I'll put it right here. On the things right there I'll put it right there so you can go and see what I'm talking about when I say um, when I talk about the triangle formula and how to use it at a ceremony and how you can shoot a, a wedding ceremony solo using the triangle formula so watch that video and it's going to show you this formula that I came up with and I call it the triangle formula you know so well, maybe I didn't come up with it, but I I call it the triangle formula. Anyway, so back to this gimbal, not to sidetrack. That's a lot of sidetracking right there. Anyway, so back to this gimbal. So I use this for when the bride is walking down the aisle. So what I do is, okay, let's get this out of the way first. So I already told you that um, you have to talk to the photographer and let her know how you plan to shoot the bride walking down, you know, because you can't just like, you know, the bride's walking down the aisle and just do whatever you want to do. You know, you have somebody else that they paid to capture the moment that, you know, you they want to capture the moment too. So it's good to talk to the photographer and um, you guys discuss how you plan to shoot it where she or he is going to stand and where you're going to stand and how you plan to film this. So here's a little bit of uh, footage of me talking to a photographer trying to plan on how we're going to do this here. If there's like any places we can go or, oh, okay. or, or in that, your way when you set up. With that, see, know. I always say always communicate with the photographers so that way you don't get into each other's way 
when they're getting this going, you know. So just like um, mainly, mainly I'm mostly on um, this side, the groom side, okay. because I have a. Uh, I'm gonna have a seven and two hundred lens. That's gonna because I want to get the bright. I'm um, sorry, the groom's reaction as she walks down the aisle. Okay. So, um, so I'm not gonna be on this way. But usually I'm on this way if I, if I want to get his reaction as well. But I'll be okay. I'll be on this side. Okay. I don't know if, uh, okay. where second shoe is gonna be, but I'll, I'll put my tripod right here just as they walk in. Getting them together with like the reaction of the groom. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna get the you're gonna get her getting down and also him. the reaction. Mm -hmm. him. Yeah. Okay. yeah, more so. of a close up, and she'll get like a farther okay. shot. Okay, so I'm gonna have also like um, okay, my main three cameras. So I'll have one here, which is um, the bride's camera. So this will be zoomed up to the bride most of the time. Okay. And the other one will be zoomed up to the groom. Room. And then that one is just gonna be like a neat angle white angle shot. Okay. So if you like during the during the ceremony, if you wanna come up here and stuff, you can always come up. But um, I know you wanna be close for the kiss and stuff like that or mm -hmm. for the rings and stuff. So I'm also like for the for the kiss, I'm gonna come like I'll walk with you. Okay. So that okay. way if you wanna look back we can walk back together gotcha. and stuff. So. Okay. So that way I'm not in your way or behind you, so... Perfect. Sounds good. So now that you've seen that footage of me talking to the photographer, you know, you have to talk to the photographer and, uh, you know, you guys have to agree on where you're going to stand and stuff like that. So that way you don't get into each other's way and, you know, yeah. So how I use the gimbal is tracking shots. So at this point, let's say I've already talked to the photographer and she knows what I'm doing. So how I use it is I track the bride walking down with her dad. As she's coming down with, with her dad, I kind of like I'm backing up. I kind of get her coming, so I'm backing up. And then um, when she's about to hit that point right there where she gets into the crowd, I start going around and I go to the back of them. So that whole stretch from the back to the front, I'm in the back, I'm behind them and kind of getting that shot, like, you know, getting that nice tracking shot of them, her and her dad walking to the groom. So, and um, this whole time while I'm doing that, I keep the photographer in mind and know that the photographers, photographer or photographers also want to get a shot of the bride and they also want to get a good shot without you in it. So I kind of use, um, a wide angle like a wide enough angle probably like 28 millimeters around there you know um the gimbal the not, not the gimbal the 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 lens i mainly use is the is this lens right here which is the 28 to 70 it's a sony lens it's pretty good it's pretty good for um what i use it for so um, the fact that it's on, it's a gimbal, I like using shorter lenses instead of using the 18 to 105. Here, the G lens, the 18 to 105, I use this shorter lens because, um, it make, it looks better on the gimbal and, um, you balance a shorter lens faster than you do a longer lens, like a zoom lens, because it's also more weight. And the less weight you add on this gimbal here, well, it depends on the gimbal you have, but I have the Zion Crane. I think this is the first one they had, they came out with. Right now it's $3.99 on Amazon, and I'm gonna plug that link in the description so you guys can go and check that out and buy it. I really recommend this right here. Anyway, so um, it's $3.99 now, so yeah, so the shorter the shorter the lens you put on it, the better I to me the better uh, the faster and better um, I it maneuvers the better it moves when I do that you know as opposed to a, a, a huge lens. So that's um, just my take on on that on the lens and stuff. So yeah, so not going back to how to use it. So. That's how I use it when I'm doing a tracking shot of the bride. When I'm, that's how I use it when during 
when the bride's walking down the aisle. So I track her from the front coming down and as soon as she gets by where she's about to enter the crowd, I go around back and shoot her from the back and, you know, get that nice um, shot of her, a nice steady shot as she walks down. It just looks cinematic when, you know, when you use it, when you edit it properly with the edits and stuff like that. Anyway, so that's how you can use, that's when to use this during the bride walk down and how you can use it when the bride's walking down the aisle. So yeah, so that's shot number one. So shot number two of how you can use this and when to use this is when the bride and groom are exiting the ceremony. So when the bride and groom are about to exit the ceremony, just get this ready and um, do a tracking shot of them as they're walking out. So that way you get good steady shots of the bride uh, and groom walking out of um, the ceremony. So yeah, so do that shot of them walking out of uh, the ceremony. So that's the shot, that's the times when I use this. So when the bride is walking in, the ceremony down the aisle and when the bride and groom are walking out, you know, cause I like tracking them all the way till whenever, till they are out of sight. So that's just how I do it. You can do it how you do it, but I like tracking them until they're kind of like out of sight. And I'll give you some examples of how I do this with the gimbal. Yep. So number three on, um, what you can use the the gimbal for at a wedding number three is um the bride and groom entering the reception so when the bride and groom are entering the reception i use this to kind of track them from the door to the dance floor so um some people don't do that but that's what i do i used to do that without a gimbal before i got a gimbal i used to do those shots and now that i have the gimbal it even makes it, it, it gives me a reason to do that because I'm going to get a smooth shot of them walking from the door to the dance floor. But there's no point of you doing this for every entrance. It's not going to make any sense. You know, the maid of honor is walking in and you track them from there to there. The flower girl, you track them from the door. No, you can stay on the dance floor. That's another video of um, how I shoot a wedding reception solo. But yeah, so you can track them. Um, I track them from the door with this, the bride and groom. I track them from the door and onto the onto the the, the dance floor. So that's how I use it. I use it for the entrance of the bride and groom. Everybody else, I use a tripod when they're entering, getting introduced. But for the bride and groom, I use this right here, and I go straight at the door. And um, I track them all the way, the bride and groom, all the way from the door to the dance floor. And I kind of do uh, an orbit around them. But yeah, but I use this for the bride and groom when they're entering. Yep. All right. So shot number four is uh, dance scenes. So you can use a, gim a gimbal, a gimbal, a gimbal is good for dance scenes when, um, you know, people are dancing on the dance floor. I mean, the thing with using a gimbal for dance scenes when like there's a lot of people dancing at a wedding, it, it, it makes you kind of look like, um, let me say this, it's a different feeling when you're shooting Okay, let me just say that kind of a shot of people dancing at a wedding is better shot handheld than shot with a gimbal. Um, this is just how I do it, and you can do it how you want to do it. But I use this for mainly the bride and groom, and sometimes the whole crowd dancing and stuff. I mean, this the shots are going to be so steady and so smooth and all that good stuff. But when I'm shooting handheld, it kind of, you know, it kind of makes, um, when I'm watching it later, it kind of makes me feel like I'm part of the action, like I'm part of the, the, the crowd, you know. So um, those are kind of like secrets on um, how to make movies too, you know. There's certain stuff that you do in movies that um, have the audience glued to the 
glued to the um, seat. When a director is shooting a movie, they would rather use, I mean, if I was, like, when you see most movies, when somebody's running from something, you know, something scary or whatever, the directors usually, the directors usually, um, I was like, damn, am I running from something? Anyways, the directors usually use handheld. I mean, that's what I would do, you know? Um, because it's going to make the person watching kind of feel the tension. They're going to make uh, the person watching feel like they're going to feel like they're part of the movie. Like the way you frame a shot in weddings and films and music videos, the way you frame a shot um, kind of should uh, make the audience feel some kind of way. It, you can like control how you want the audience to feel by how you frame um, your subjects, you know. So the way you frame your subjects, it also tells a lot. Also visually explains a lot and, um, you know, you tell your story, uh, film well, film like, you know, um, you, tell, you tell a story. If you're a filmmaker, you tell a story with the camera. So you tell a story visually more than like, you know, dialogue and stuff like a novel and stuff like that.
dancing than use a gimbal because a gimbal is not going to make my audience feel part of the crowd that's dancing you know so out of all this stuff that I said that's the point that I wanted to make so hopefully it makes a lot of sense at the end after explaining that because it kind of wouldn't have made sense if I didn't say everything I said between there and then came to you to tell you that it makes the audience kind of feel part of, you know, uh, whatever you're shooting, part of the story. So, um, so that's that. So you can use it for dance scenes. So I'll give you guys a few examples on how, um, on how it looks, you know. So uh, number five here, shot number five is uh, Biro. So Biro is... Um, a way you can use your gimbal to do b-roll footage and I feel like that's mostly the use for a gimbal like um, that's mostly that's like 90% of why, why I use a gimbal at weddings the reasons the the main use of a gimbal at weddings for me is mostly b-roll footage is b-roll shots to take some b-roll shots so um I'll put a link right here so you guys can kind of see the other videos I've made about, um, you know, 10 second rule of B-roll and um, how to do B-roll at weddings and stuff like that about B-roll. So, yeah, so um, go check out those links on how you can uh, film b-roll footage and what b-roll is and just some tricks and tips on b-roll and so i call the gimbal the king of b-roll so like this thing kills b-roll like if you want to do b like great shots with b-roll this thing right here it's just going to make everything feel so cinematic it's just going to make everything like crazy this right here it's gonna up your production this thing right here so I really recommend that you guys get this and um, I'm gonna show you guys a few um, shots that I've taken at weddings like a few b-roll shots and for right now because I'm talking about b-roll right now so I'm gonna show you guys a few shots I've taken at the ceremony at the reception, when the bride is getting ready, the details like the dress and uh, stuff like that, bureau stuff with this. I really recommend that you guys get a gimbal. It's gonna up the production value of your weddings. So that's that guys, thank you for watching. And uh, please make sure that um, you subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be talking about more about, you know, the moves that you could do with the gimbal. And I'll just be putting out more content on weddings and uh, wedding films and stuff. So make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. And if you already subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate all the subscribers. And uh, subscribe, guys. I'm trying to hit a thousand subscribers, man. Come on, just give me a thousand, man. A thousand subscribers. I'm trying to hit a, th a thousand subscribers and once I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm going to do a giveaway. So I'll be giving away uh, one of my equipments that I use at weddings when I hit a thousand. So uh, yeah, so subscribe because um, mostly it's not mostly it's going to go to one of my subscribers. So subscribe and uh, yeah, when I'm about to hit a thousand subscribers. Um, I'm going to post a video explaining on how you can kind of enter to win one of my product, one of my equipments that I use at weddings. So yeah, so um, subscribe and um, not because of the giveaway, but also because of the content that I put out. And, you know, you can go and watch stuff on my channel, you know, it's going to be useful. I'm like, you know, trying to help wedding videographers uh, do their thing. So um, thank you for watching, guys. And I really appreciate all the likes all the comments or the kind comments, you know, 
people tell me that I'm oh thank you your video was very helpful so that's the main reason why I I want to make these videos for people who like you know who I help so um thank you for watching I really appreciate it and make sure you subscribe to my channel and you click smash the like button and smash that bell right there so yeah so that's that's what it is so thank you guys it's your boy Francis from wedding videography tips and much love guys Zion crane gimbal by the way uh, the link to get this right here is in the description if you already don't have it and um, if you want it you know so it's the link is in the description right now it's going for three ninety nine and this and this right here is it's worth the investment it's worth the uh, it's worth the money I, I feel like it's it, it's it's worth more than how much it is right now but yeah because probably the price went down because they have the the you know the crane 2 and crane 2 plus and all that stuff but all the footage that I'm going to show you I shot with this so it's all, all it's all about how you use your equipment you know it's not about getting the best equipment out there it's all about how you use your equipment so that's that guys um thanks for watching